and welcome to a new dungeon video for Tol Dagor. This was one of the first dungeons I did on the alpha, so I'm pretty used to the tactics here. But obviously now I'm doing it as a, um, as a, oh my lord, as a blood decay. I'm not fucking sure what happened there, but something hit me hard. I have no idea what just happened. I think it was the boss where he just, at the start of the dungeon, he just pops up there. And obviously it literally just one shots you. Like it did to me there. Obviously you just gotta get threat on all these. Use my, um... Use up all my blood boils. So I can get blood plague on all the ads. Can do a big DPS to them. And obviously when I have death and decay down, I can just kite them. So that's the boss, yeah. So that shouldn't... If you don't run out retardedly quick like I did, that won't happen to you. Just pull these parasites quickly. Pull these crabs as well. Just so that the, the place is clear. Because on the first boss, you do a lot of running around. So just make sure blood plagues on all these targets and just kite them around. Kite them quickly in the death and decay. Just gonna get ready to pull the boss. I'm gonna pull the boss now. These ads will die. I need to get close. So if I remember co correctly, the boss does a spray in the in the direction it's doing it. So just get ready for that. Sand trap. Ah, I remember. So he does he does um, things on the floor. I'm just gonna stand on top of it, see what it does. So it stuns me. But I'm just clearing the room, so it's fine. Just gonna get, make sure I have 10 sets of um, so upheaval. So he's gonna be running around. So we wanna spread out. Sand trap, he's gonna put more of them down. Sandstorm. So yeah, this is one where we're gonna be taking loads of damage and getting sucked. So it's gonna be moving you about in no real direction, just moving you about. So you go into these sand traps. Especially when you've got a lot up, like in Mythic. When you're going to have a lot of the ads up, it's just, yeah. Have we got a mage here? Just tell him to time warp. Just so we can get it off. Because obviously we're going to be here in more than 10 minutes, so there's no point not using it. So she's back up. Sandstorm now as well. So now she enrages. So you probably want to save BL for this bit. Especially on Mythic when she enrages and you can just DPS her down before a tank gets killed. But obviously with Blood DKs they just aren't going to die. And on to the next boss. Should probably loot it. See what it's got for me. Ooh, got some shoulders, nice. Put them on. It's too far away. Just hit all these ads. Just run in here as well. Slow them with my death and decay. I need to get closer. So it seems that um, parasites spawn in every little, after every little, like, these bits here. So just wanna make sure I'm just dotting them up with blood plague. Because once they've got Blood Plague, they're just going to be just attracted to me because it does so much damage in the alpha. So just make sure Blood Plague's on all of them and just kite them in my Death and Decay. Just kite them in my Death and Decay. They're like, with the Fire Mage as well, they're just going to die. Just pull all these here. So just gonna pull all these, pop my um, rune weapon and just get full bone storm, bone armor sorry, and just hit them down. Put down my death and decay and just kite them a bit. Just kite them. So the reason I'm kiting with my death and decay is because I have the um, rapid decomposition which makes my death and decay deal more damage and tightening grass which slows them and reduces the cooldown on Gorfine's grasp. 
So now this is where you're getting into the um, like the humanoid bit of the prison, because Tall Geldor's the prison. So the next boss is a Worgen, Jess Howlis. So we'll just run up there. Just quickly pull these guys. It's a pretty big dungeon, but it doesn't have a lot of trash in. So you literally just like you're just gonna be running through these levels pretty much. So remember correctly, yeah, it's this way. Just hit all these. Use Vampiric if I need to. And Icebound Fortitude. Shouldn't really need um, anti-magic shell, but since it's on a, such a low cooldown, I can literally just, you know, use it. Not have to worry about it. I'm going to use Gore Fiends on these adds, just so that they're um, stacked up. So just Gore Fiend them together. Get Blood Plague on all of them. And just run away from them. Literally just kite them for free, especially when they're in my death and decay. Just kite them. Can literally just kite them for free. And just make sure I got 10 bone armor up. Aha, so these these seem to be aggroed. Just make sure they've got blood plague on them. So as you can see, the prison gates are locked. There's a reason for this. It's kind of like a um once you've killed the bosses, you can open up the gate. So if you die and spawn at the very, very, very bottom, you can get back to your group, like, relatively quickly. So you just pull these Vulpirian. Pop anti-magic shell just so that I can, um, you know, have that extra HP. Ah, so it seems they have a huge aggro range again. So these guys are just getting aggroed for like no reason at all. I'm just going to stun this guy from afar. I can pop Vampiric soon, I've just got to survive. So use Death Strike. And we'll just kill all these guys. So especially, I've just got to hold out for when I have Vampiric, because when I've got Vampiric, everything dies. Kill all these guys. And now we're going to move up to the boss. Ah, the shammy's drinking, so I've got to wait. I might as well just pull these, especially because i got rune weapon. Pull this down here. Heal up with Death Strike. Use um, anti magic shell just so I have that extra HP. Just get bone armor up to full. So you want to interrupt that watery dome so that they aren't getting um aren't getting that shit off. I'm just gonna go fiend all these ads. So I can go up and pull. What I've found here as well is that you want to be pulling just like literally all the ads in this room because the boss is going to force you to run around all this whole room. So I'm going to try a little bug on this boss. I haven't seen it done before, but I might see if it works. I'm going to use blood boil uh, through the bars here and see if I can pull the boss. I'm just going to pop, quickly pop Vampiric. I'm going to grip this guy in. Uh, just use blood boil, get them all blood plagued. I'm just going to stun this guy just so he can't get shields on him. And just run around and pull a bit more. Can leave these guys because you don't really run around hits. It's all these ones. Just make sure i got my shields up. And just slow them in my death and decay. So once they're in the death and decay, you can literally just run from them. Pop my um, anti-magic shell just so I can, just so I can run and pull. Just blood by them all, so I'm getting big, big healing off death and decay. So it seems that these guys pulled as well, so I'm just gonna pull these. So I'm rooted now. That's bad. Just gonna pop blood plague. I'm gonna get ready to gore fiend grasp these guys. Gonna get ready to gore fiend all of them, so I can just run. Just get ready to gore fiend all of them, and I'm gonna gore fiend now. Gore fiend them. Gore fiend. I'm gonna use Ray Fork so it breaks the root. Just blood play all of them. Stun them all. Just gonna grip this guy. It seems they're doing really big damage with that salt blast. So I'm just gonna use that. 
Just blood plague all them. Blood plague all of them. Just move them around. So I'm kind of work like you like doing these like it's necrotic. Just kite. Get your aggro and kite. Because I'm dealing so much damage as a blood DK, they aren't really ever gonna break um break aggro, especially with blood plague up. So I'm just gonna tell these guys follow the boss and interrupt. Because on this boss, if you don't interrupt, everyone's gonna get feared. If we don't, if they don't interrupt, we're gonna have a four-second fear. Just quickly let the healer get his mana, and then we'll pull. I can't get a bone armor up to um, ten. So yeah, on this ad, on this boss, there's gonna be the boss is just gonna be running all around this room. So crippling fear, that's the one you want to interrupt. So we gotta hide. So you just wanna hide around the corner. And we're just gonna follow this boss. This is the one I had the most um, difficulty with. Especially, um, I think it's 50% he goes. Something like that, I'll have a look. It's gonna hit 15% soon. I don't have an interrupt. Oh, that was a really good interrupt. So Smoke Powder, so this is the one where he, he runs. So we're just gonna follow him. Just follow the boss. I'll keep my aggro. You literally, this is what you want to be doing. I've seen a lot of people wait and kill these ads. Just don't do that. Just literally follow the boss. Just literally follow the boss and then interrupt this. Which comes up now. M motivate and cry. You want to interrupt that. And just literally hit all the... Just hit the boss. He's really, really low. And just get ready to interrupt that fear like this. Interrupt the fear. So you feared for five seconds, but we should be fine in theory, because all them ads die pretty relatively quickly. So there, as you can see, it's just really, really good. And the bars have opened up. So I'm going to end this video here so it doesn't get too long, and I'll make a second part for the last two bosses, which is Knight Captain uh, Valerie and Overseer Corgus. So yep, yeah, see you in the next one. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and later.